hello friends in this video we are going to see how to simulate to simulate assembly program for arm cortex m3 using keel microvision 5 so to do that you know that you need to install a keel microvision 5 in your pc and which is i already installed here on that first you need to double click on that to open keel microvision 5 so here i already opened it so i'll directly open it and go to Keel Microvision 5 software to show you how to execute a assembly program for ARM Cortex microcontroller using Microvision 5. So now initially what you need to do you have to create a new project for that I'll select here inside project a new microvision project I'll click on that after clicking so you need to save this project inside a folder for that it is better you need to create one folder a separate folder on the desktop or somewhere in the extra drive okay I'm going to create here a folder here say new new folder okay so new folder so I'll give uh, a new folder as a say um, programs okay so inside this folder again you need to create a individual folder for each separate program so that better this this is a better practice you have to do that you need to create a each folder separate folder for each program so I am going to execute here a assembly program means simulate the assembly program okay say um, addition of uh, 10 numbers so I will give the folder name add 10 okay so inside this folder you need to save your project say the project name is say addition of 10 numbers okay N O S and save it okay after creating the project once you created the project you need to select the target device to target device in the sense the device for which you are writing the program so here um, I am writing the program for uh, arm cortex so I'll uh, take a arm um, cortex series 17 means lpc 1700 series designed by lxp company okay so in that uh, i'll select lpc 1768 microcontroller okay and click okay okay once you selected your target device you need to have to check some options here in the manage runtime environment so under simsys you go to the simsys and check the core here and then you go to the device and you need to check the startup here then you press ok 
okay two things you need to check here one is a startup under the device and that is core and inside the simsys cmcs sorry click okay okay after that you need to create a file okay so click a file in that you click a new a new file here you need to type your program okay i already have a program here which is uh, uh, made by myself already i designed the program return program which i'll copy here directly so you need to type here i'm just copying the program here okay so once you copy this program okay means once you type this program you need to save this program inside the same folder which is you created for this particular program so here i am saving the program with the name with the name as a dot, say add 10 okay add 10 and give the extension dot s since you are creating it a assembly program here okay so save it so once you save this program okay so here i'm not going to explain the program so in another video i am going to explain you here i am explaining you to how to execute in detail the assembly program is how to simulate the assembly program okay so here you need to save it okay after saving so here at the target you need to add this file to add this file go to select the target select the target right click okay and sorry select the source group right click and add select the option add existing files to the group okay which is a third option select it and go to your folder and since you are adding here assembly program if you select the file type as a asm source file okay in that you have add 10 dot s file which is you typed here so just click add and close it okay and you see that your file is added here with the name add 10 dot s okay once you added this so one more thing you need to do here is you need to check it here right click on the target and go to the first option which is option for target right there you go to the debug and you check on use simulator because we are just doing here simulation for assembly program so in that you select use simulator if you are going to design a hex file to dump in the chip then you need to select this option which is use link to me cortex debugger so since here only we are simulating just you select check on the use simulator and click ok okay so after this you need to debug the program okay to debug just click on this okay click on debug option okay so which will show you the zero error and zero warning means here uh, in the in the in the project what you what you need to do you need to build the target sorry uh, we are not debugging we are building the target here so first you need to build the target to build the target go to the project and click on the build target to build target you have a option here uh, on the on the window you can see the uh, cursor so here also directly you can build the target so once you build the target you can find out whether you have a errors in the program or not so since here we don't have any error and warning in the program so this will be build is a done here okay once it is find out that you have a zero error and zero warning then you have to go for simulation 
to go for simulation you go to the debug option here and click first option which is start and stop debug session you can find here also you can see the cursor okay so here also you have a option directly click on that or you can go to the debug select the first option which is start and stop debug session okay so here uh, this will show you just you press ok here and you will get a debug environment here in the debug environment you can find here you you, you can find here the values of different registers in the arm cortex okay so which is which we are selecting lpc 1768 so here we have several values r not to r15 whose values initially before simulating this it is showing here okay so here we have our program so our program says that okay so once we'll see the program here so i'll stop this and uh, see the program so our actual program here is we are adding the numbers from 1 to 10 right adding the number from 1 to 10 and storing the result register r2 okay that is our program so we'll see the result from number 1 to 10 whether it is available in the register or not that is register r2 or not okay so for that you go to the here start and stop debug just what you do here so you can see the registers here r not to r15 so so to to run the program you just press f5 or go to this option you can see the option or or you can go in a in a debug option here so here you have a option run click on that okay right click on that run okay then the 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 red but the red button you can see here the red option so where you need to stop it so click on this red button to stop it and you will get the result on register register uh, sorry so here we have a result in the register r not not in the r2 so i uh, written actually in the program that the result is in r2 which is wrong actually the result is placed in the r not okay actually in, in in the program the result is in r not okay so therefore the result you can see in the r not here okay so which is which is a hex 37 hex 37 means it is decimal equivalent 55 so if you add the number from 1 to 10 you will get the decimal equivalent number 55 which is which is a which is a available inside the register or not which is our result is a is a hex 37 this is how you can simulate a assembly program using keel 5 for arm cortex or arm or any arm controller okay so today we'll stop here and we'll meet in the next video for one more topic till then bye